Good afternoon, everyone. Treasure Troller here from the partially mask-wearing militant state of Michigan, where we have more FBI agents and paid informants than we do actual conspirators in the plot to kidnap our governor and dictator, Gretchen Whitmer. So, round one of the of the Whitmer uh, kidnapping case is over. Of the four defendants, two were found not guilty on all charges. Two, there was a hung jury. And I've watched a, a vlogger, I'm, I've mentioned him before, uh, Viva Free, and he's talked about this case, he's talked about uh, 1 6. I can't think of another, but anyway, some of these people that plead out early, he says, uh, in the end, they're going to wish they did not do that. There was one or two of the co-conspirators that uh, took a plea deal, and uh, four were left, two found not guilty, two was a mistrial. And I think it was heavily, heavily skewed in the prosecution's favor as well. But none of that mattered. When a clown show is bringing up on charges, usually, usually you walk. So it's nice to see the jury come to that conclusion. Waiting for uh, the dictator's statement uh, regarding all this. I'm sure she's too busy fixing the damn roads to really even comment on it, but we'll wait, ha have to wait and see. I guess today is kind of a, a vlog promoting other people's vlogs. There was another one. It's, it's uh, called Friends Only. And it's put out by Solve for Why. And Solve for Why is mostly a poker channel. But they have like this round table. They might do it every day. I don't know. I haven't caught it a lot. It's an interesting show. It's not on, it's not all about poker. I'll put the link in below. If you've got some time, they, I think it takes about the whole course of the, the episode to get through this story, but it was a, it's a, it was about a poker player. Her name was uh, Brandy Hawbaker, uh, and it was, I'm pretty sure it was back in the eighties. It's one of those stories of, that you always hear about attractive girls trying to get into poker somebody says they'll back them and then you know the downward spiral begins but it's an interesting story it, it is sort of the seedier side of professional poker but it's a great vlog I'll put the link in there um, so I imagine it takes a little over an hour to get through it just because there's uh, there's probably four people in the conversation and they start asking questions and get a little sidetracked. It's a great vlog. I'll put the link in if you've got a minute. Well, if you got an hour, check it out. Um, now I'm just thinking about it. This might be my first vlog in a while. Before I went on the, the vlogging trip. And I don't want to say too much about it right now. It went really well. Um, I'm waiting for thumbnails to get done. And once thumbnails get done. We can start posting them. But it, it probably went the smoothest I've ever seen uh, 
I've ever had vlogging go. It was just amazing how quick that went. So anyways, that's it. Everybody is walking out of the courtroom today as uh, free citizens of the militant state. Which is always a good day. Oh, by the way, the guy that uh, was one of the, the lead uh, FBI agents in this, once he had uh, locked this one down and, and got these uh, rat bastards, well, they put him in charge of... Uh, of inauguration day in Washington DC so with that this is treasure troller saying aloha and good day